Joining us today are Spider Robinson and his friend David Crosby, Grammy Award winning musician and a member of the Birds and Crosby Stills Nash and Young. Spider Robinson is the Hugo and Nebula award winning author of Variable Star, which is based on the detailed outline and notes left by the greatest science fiction writer of all time, Robert Heinlein. Spider, David, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, our pleasure. Mine, anyway, I can't speak for you. Yeah, I, I think it's a pretty good thing myself. Spider, can you fill us in on how you ended up writing this book? Ah, dumb luck. In 2003, a panel on rare and obscure Heinleiniana, uh, weird Heinlein stuff that had been found in the archives. And I happened to be sitting there when the archivist sitting next to me said, and among the other odd things we found was a complete detailed outline for a novel that Robert drew up in 1955 and wrote notes for and character expl and, and unfortunately never got around to finishing it. And someone stood up in the back of the room, someone who had attended the panel yelled, you should get Spider Robinson to finish that book. And there was applause from the assembled Heinlein fans. David, how did you get involved? I fell into the same uh, trap that uh, that Spider did. I read the exact same book, Rocket Ship Galileo, which was, I think, the first of his juvenile series. Yes, it was. And it transported me. It took me away. I, I was hooked. So I have been all my life a huge Robert Heinlein fan. He, he changed my life. Mm -hmm. He affected every way I think about everything. Later on, I uh, was lucky enough to read uh, Stardance, which was a book that uh, Spider and Jeannie wrote together, which completely hooked me. Again, it was a beautiful, beautiful book. I like how Spider writes about human beings. He's, he really sees them in a great way. And so I became a huge Spider Robinson fan. Uh, at one point, he said, well, you know, is there anything at all I can do to, to, to help you with that book? And my ears grew points and Boing. ding, a light bulb appeared in the air over my head and I said, it's a funny thing you should mention that, uh, David. I uh, have some song lyrics in chapter one that could really use a tune. The song would be good, the, the book is really good. And so I was, you know, eager to help if I possibly could. Can you both fill us in on the plot line? A young man in love. He's found the girl of his dreams, the love of his life. He's just ready to get married. And the guy's now faced with the dilemma, I can have the girl of my dreams, I can have the love of my life. All I have to do is forget every plan I ever had whatsoever for my life or what I thought my future was going to be and devote myself to becoming one of the wealthiest men in the solar system. Does that sound like fun to you? <laughs> Doesn't sound like fun to him. He goes on a colossal bender at the conclusion of which he finds himself on a starship uh, headed for a place 85 light years away. David, share with us your thoughts on Variable Star. I do believe that we're not meant to wipe ourselves out. I do believe that we're not meant to poison our planet to the point where it poisons us. I think we're supposed to grow up. I think the human race has the potential in it to be an evolved bunch of beings who can go out and look around the universe and find out what the heck's going on on the other side of the hill. Because I want to know. Mm -hmm. We all want to know really badly and uh, Variable Star you know advances that. The thing I've always loved about science fiction from the very beginning is that as far as I can see looking around me it's the only kind of writing anybody does that assumes there's going to be a future. What would you like readers to take away from Variable Star? Hope. Hope, hope, hope for the future, hope for mankind, hope for themselves. Variable Star is not only a fascinating tale of space travel and adventure it's also a beautiful coming-of-age story that will inspire its readers to contemplate life on this planet and far, far beyond. The reason we're going to Mars is we know To step on the road to the stars It's the reason we hang out in bars, don't you know Cause we can't find our way to the stars